Hello children, Deshya Vidyashala Samiti Shimoga welcomes you to the first POC Biology Practicals. See, this is our college campus and the entrance. We welcome you from DVSPU Independent College. Get set children, get set to learn your practicals through video classes. I am Shruti Ramaswamy from the Department of Biology. Well, it's practical number 14, study of the external morphology of animals. So the same you have learned even in your theory classes. Now in practicals, you'll have the specimens and you will look at it and learn it in detail. See here, the first specimen that you are supposed to study is the earthworm. So the zoological name given to the earthworm is Ferritima postuma. Earthworm belongs to the phylum Anilida, classes Oligochaeta. Look at the word there. Oligo, it refers to few. Kite, it refers to the locomotory structures, small processes. <clears throat> this earthworm, you can very commonly call it or rightly call it to be as the first civil engineer. You know why? The earthworm, it constructs its own burrow and then it would be staying within it. So anyhow, the body is narrow, it's a cylindrical with the anterior and the posterior end. So here, you can find the whole body is having ring-like structures. That's the annulus. You call it to be as the segments. So they are nearly around 100 segments, and you can say they are metamers. You know what is this metamer? It exhibits a phenomena called metamerism. What is this metamerism? It's linear repetition of similar body parts along the main axis. Andre, our main axis nearly northa vandaga linear agi our body parts other they repeat after them. When the segment no open madi, ali nimgen sigata, you would be finding that there would be a digestive system, amile hage blood vessel is present there. Next to open madi, ali kudana ade sigata. So ethera, there is linear repetition of similar body parts along the main axis. Now kudana ashte. We are metamerically segmented organisms. <clears throat> the difference is that we don't have external segmentation, that's all. For example, kaal in a tudi ali one chur kat madi open mad nordaga, you find there is bone, there are blood vessels, there is muscle. You cut somewhere near the stomach, open out and see the same parts are available. You cut somewhere here near the neck open out the skin, you find the same organs repeated. Don't do it practically, but I'm telling you, here also you find the same type of the organs. So, there is linear repetition of similar body parts along the main axis and that phenomena is called metamerism and that's why we call the segments to be as metamers, okay? Mouth is situated anteriorly in the first metamere and that metamere is called the peristomium. Look at the word so beautifully it has been coined. Peri, it says boundary, stoma is opening. So peristomium is present in the first part and anus, it is situated at the tip of the last metamere. See this is the earthworm, you call this to be as farmer's friend, nature's plower because it just keeps on just burrowing, bringing out the soil out and that's why we say it's nature's floor. See the first protrusion here is prostomium. Mouth in a mumbagadali siktade, hagagi pro is first, stomium is saying it is mouth. So here peristomium, the first segment, then comes the second segment and throughout the segments you call it to be as annulus. <clears throat> in an adult earthworm, the skin around 14th to 16th segment, it has some red colored structure, a band like structure. It's comparatively thick than the other segments, but the segmentation is not clearly seen in this particular region. And what is that called? That band like structure, it's said to be as clitellin. It's called Clitellum. Earthworm is a hermaphrodite. It has 
both the male as well as the female reproductive structures present in the same individual. So, there would be the female genital pore as an opening and the male genital pore also as the opening here. See, the female genital pore or aperture, it is located in the 14th segment. In the 18th segment, you find that there would be the presence of the male genital pore. See, it is in one pair that it is available. Have a look at this diagram very clearly. It is depicting a pair of the genital papillae would also be present above and below the male genital aperture. The male genital aperture is present in the 18th segment. So, in the 17th and the 19th segment, a pair of the genital papillae are visible. Four pairs of the openings of the sperma theca, they are situated ventrolaterally in the grooves. In the grooves and thalidre, yerdu segments in a nadve. In the grooves between the 5th and the 6th, then 6th and the 7th, 7th and the 8th and 8th and the 9th. So here, that was about this earthworm. Some special features, what you can see. See here, this earthworm is having a clitellum. The clitellum would be helping in secreting a particular I mean, fluid which would be enabling in formation of the, uh, uh, the cocoon case like structure. And then when the mud is burrowed, it just helps in slightly cementing the mud particles there. See, it feeds upon, it feeds upon the organic matter and whatever is ejected out of the earthworm, that waste is said to be as the worm casts and the worm casts are rich with NPK. What is NPK? Nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. That's what enriches the soil and the soil becomes fertile. That's about the story of the earthworm. Moving to the next one, it's the cockroach. Well, children, in cockroach you find the different varieties of the species like Periplaneta americana, Blattida, so many other species are there. Anyhow, this is not a native of India. It's not an indigenous species. Rather, it's an exotic one. So, it has come out from America, so we call it to be as Periplaneta americana. It belongs to the phylum Arthropoda. Arthro refers to jointed, podos refers to the legs. So, in the sense, two legs are not jointed. It says one leg itself will have many number of the joints within them. That's why we call this to be as belonging to the phylum Arthropoda. Well, when we look at this cockroach, its habit is nocturnal. New light illa hakdaga cockroach ordered adilla. Light illa the idaga, cutly ali the active agirta. Yele sigatido is almost found in a moist, dampy area. So, where the waste contents are more, then you find the cockroaches just moving around very happily. So, body of a cockroach is dorso ventrally flattened. It's dorso ventrally flattened. Then, it's bilaterally symmetrical. Externally, looking at the outer side, externally, it's covered by the chitinous plate. Are you seeing the chitinous plate? Each, each individual chitinous plate will be called the sclerite. Totally, the dorsal sclerites, they are called the tergum. Ventral sclerites, they are said to be a sternum. Dorsal in the sclerite so adana now targum and healthy way. Ventrally any the adana now sternum and healthy way. If the yerdo hagi ulkan betray, walk at the part cell or get a bit bit at the hagag bardo. Hagagi e targum mate sternum in the at the lateral sides. They are all sutured by the help of the plates called pleuron. They are called pleuron. So just see here the whole body is divisible into head, thorax and abdomen. So, really, head in either, it bears one pair of the compound eyes, one pair of the simple eye 
and then there will be presence of the antennae and beautifully the mouth would be beholding the mouth parts with the net. E thorax and the inhilta deve, a thorax nali, there will be one big shield like structure, so that is called pronotum. So, this pronotum would be covering and protecting the neck which is called the cervicum which connects the head to the thorax region. Then the second one will be mesothorax and the third thoracic segment will be called metathorax. See here from the thoracic segments the second and the third will be giving rise to one pair of the wings each. Okay? So, here on the ventral side of it, on the ventral side of it, each of the thoracic segment will give rise to one pair of the appendages, one pair of the appendages. See here, the first pair of the appendage or the second or the third, you find they have different joints together forming one leg, that is why it is an arthropodent member. Children, see here in the leg, the broader portion is said to be what you are seeing here a little bit stumpy one here, this is said to be the coxa. The coxa is later on having a trochanter, this trochanter connects this coxa to the femur. The femur is the longest and the strongest part. Then femur is connected to tibia and tibia is connected to tarsus. See here at the end of this region there would be a small aerolium. You see it is a small aerolium. So, the aerolium and it is a small structure with slight pores here. It brings about a suction force and enables the cockroach to hold any of the object very firmly. Aerolium on either side will have the small claw like structures. Okay? That is why you can find a cockroach walking vertically on the wall and on the roof also. So, this is how the cockroach is able to move about. So, here that is about the parts of the legs in a cockroach. Did you get this? So, from Niviyavagalu ashte diagram na barivaga, wings agli, atwa e legs agli, adu it has to come out from the thoracic region. Barita, papa nimingi gotaga dila, illindilla kalna barthabitira, adilla, idiyan antandre, niviyan kalna baritira, adu thoracic region in the le, hora barbe kagiru antado. When the kal of the parts, you know, cockroach of the kal of the parts, you know, coxa, then trochanter, then femur, tibia, and then tarsus, and there is presence of an aerolium with two claws. Okay? So many of you are scared of the cockroach, isn't it? So now that you have opted biology, you, sh you should not feel scared at all. Rather, what should you feel? You should feel it is your coexister. Okay? So, see here in the abdominal region, there are various segments. So, 9 segments are clearly seen in a male cockroach, 7 are clearly visible in a female cockroach, but totally there are 11 segments that are present over there. Okay, let us have a look at the head of this cockroach. See, cockroach's head is ventrally located. It is pure shaped. It is pure shaped. A putani tale olage yashtukunta parts there. Unu compound eye there. A compound eye in olage. A image in a capture madwanta unit seen at the omatidia and thelikartare. Unu cockroach. Another image in a note that capture man and thildre is not a complete image that it can see. It will have a mosaic vision. Computer nal heng barthala, athera mosaic vision is visible. Apart from this compound eye, there would be presence of one pair of feet, simple eyes. It is called oscillus. 
then you find there are antennal sockets wherein they bear the antennae. If it is a male cockroach, the antennae is lengthier. If it is a female cockroach, the antennae is short. Anyhow, this antennae helps in perceiving the sensation. Children, you can work out. You take the antennae, cut the antennae of the cockroach. You see the cockroach gets confused. It does not know where to move. It just keeps on circulating where it is standing. So, that is the role played by this antennae. Come to the mouth. It is a very small mouth, not clearly visible. But when you just look through the lens, you can find there are so many parts within the mouth. Each of it can be plucked out and placed under a simple microscope and observed. The upper lip of the cockroach's mouth is said to be labrum. Lower lip is said to be labium. So this labium on either sides will have the labial palp. Well, below this upper lip, labrum, there would be hard chitinous structures. They are said to be mandibles. The mandibles, they have the serrated edges. These mandibles, they help in chopping the food. So for while chopping the food, the food is supposed to be pushed between the mandibles and that work is done by the hypopharynx. At the base of this hypopharynx, there is an opening of the salivary glands. Then, below the mandibles or above the labium, there is presence of the maxillae. These maxillae will have the maxillary pulp. They are five segmented structures. What do they do? They push the food between the mandibles and these labial pulp they see to it the food is not getting dropped out of the mouth. In that way, they keep pushing. This is the beautiful head of the cockroach and the mouth parts of the cockroach. So these structures enable them to chop the food to catch hold of the prey too. Well, the cockroach very clearly exhibits sexual dimorphism. What do you mean by this? sexual dimorphism. See, di is referring to two, morphos refers to external feature, ism says it is a phenomena. So, cockroach exhibits sexual dimorphism in the sense looking at the morphological features, one can distinguish the male and the female. Anyhow, by looking at the body itself, you can make out whether it is a male cockroach or a female cockroach. Usually, the male cockroach will have a narrow abdomen. Female cockroach will have a broader abdomen. This is nature's law children. Any of the animal, if it's a female, will have a broader abdomen because it needs to lodge the egg or the young one. That's why the abdominal portion of the female animals will be broader comparatively to that of the male. Right? Then, when you look at the antennae, as I told you earlier, the male cockroach will have a very lengthy antennae, but a female cockroach will have a short antennae. Then, when you look at this female cockroach, you would be finding the seventh abdominal segment is clefted ventrally. You know why? So, this clefted abdominal segment is present just to behold the egg case. Parental care is ultimate. Come it might be cockroach, come it might be the human being. The female cockroach in the seventh abdominal segment has a cleft to hold the egg case. You might have seen small protrusion coming out like this. It would be reddish in its color and that is nothing but the egg case. The female cockroach keeps on moving around. Just you observe. Biology students need to have a greatest observation, very keen observation. A cockroach hage odar tarate. Yen kodar tarate and thelidre, it keeps on watching whether this particular area where I am going to lodge the egg case is safe or not. A jagadali jena odadi disturb matara ilvanta check matate. A female cockroach. Yenu disturbance illa and heli kathri madkun nantra a egg case in a correct gitakonogi al attach madi hogata. Did you get this? You always find an egg case at the corner above, isn't it? So why is it so, Andre? It makes sure 
all the generation of it is safe and there is a pakka perpetuation of the generation there okay that's why the seventh abdominal segment is clefted in the female cockroach unlike the male it doesn't have any clefted uh, i mean abdominal segment there then look here both the male and the female cockroach they have the anal serrae the anal serrae what you are observing here they are auditory in their reception in the sense they can perceive the sounds okay so it's present in both the cases but in a male cockroach there is presence of anal style this anal style is there which enables during the act of the copulation but such a anal style is absent in the female that's why i keep telling my children how to remember this see the female cockroach is styleless but a male cockroach is with the style and that style is the anal style okay that's it about the sexual dimorphism in the cockroach